So I'll be giving a demonstration on how to operate a FACOP microsecond timer to non-destructively evaluate the quality of standing trees. This device is designed to detect defects in trees by measuring the transit time of stress waves between two transducers. So the basic principle behind this is that in a tree that is intact, uh, the sound wave is the velocity is much faster than a tree of equal size that has some sort of defect. So in a tree that's intact, the sound wave will go directly from one transducer to the other. But if there's a defect in that pathway, it will have to go around the defect, thus taking a longer amount of time. So it comes with the device itself that, that records your measurements as well as two transducers. So the one that has the red tubing is the transmitter, while the one with black tubing is the receiver. So to set up your device, all you have to do is to hammer both, both transducers so that they're opposite from each other, um, so that the needle passes through the bark and reaches the actual wood. So when operating this equipment, it's useful to have a bark gauge on hand so you can get an estimate of how thick the bark is. Um, so what I like to do is, if the bark thickness isn't very, it's not very thick bark, I like to set it up to 10 millimeters. So I just tape the outside of the needle so that 10 millimeters is at the end. So when you're hammering the transducers into the tree, you just you go until the tape reaches the bark. So I know that the needle is 10 millimeters into the tree. Um, also, because velocity is calculated with distance divided by time, you need to know the distance between your transducers. So to do this, you can just get the diameter of the tree at that height um, using a D-tape, or you can directly measure that distance itself using a caliber. So to operate, all you have to do is flip the switch to, to, to turn the device on. Um, you can see that the screen now reads zero. And using your hammer, all you have to do is tap the transmitter and the device will record for you. To take a new measurement, you hit the reset button and it clears the screen. If you don't hit the reset button, it won't take a new measurement. So if I did, it now says 88. If I were to tap it again, it wouldn't take a new measurement. So you have to hit the reset button in between takes. So what I like to do is to take a throwaway measurement that I wouldn't record hit reset and then take three additional measurements that I would record. Um, these are then later averaged for your sound wave time. So I would take one measurement, 88, hit reset, 90, and then 87. So those three measurements would be average and that would be my sound wave time. Uh, thing to note, when you're taking your measurements or hammering the needles into the tree, you only want to hit this part of the transducer. You never want to hit the protective uh, plastic covering around the core. That's pretty fragile, but the metal end, that's pretty sturdy, so that's where you want to hit. Also, when you're setting up your transducers, if there are visible defects from the outside of the tree, you want to take care to avoid those because if the pathway goes through it, then it will affect your measurement. Um, and additionally, because it's very directional in the measurement that it takes, if there is a defect that's not in that pathway, then if you just take one measurement in one direction, then it won't necessarily pick that up. So for example, I say have this set up north-south, I would also take a second set of measurements from east-west. So that would increase my chances of picking up any defects from the tree. 
So I think that's everything. Um, that's the basics of using a Fakop microsecond timer to evaluate standing trees. Thanks for watching.